everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that I do every single week on my channel about a variety of topics. And today's video is special because it's actually a collaboration with Nikki from Inspired by Nikki. I have recently found a couple new YouTubers that I have fallen in love with and she is one of them. Her channel is so beautiful and she is a Christian mom of four kids and I have just loved watching her videos. If you like videos a lot like mine then you will love her channel. If you are coming to me from Nikki's channel, hey, I'm so glad to have you here and I hope you will find videos here on my channel that you enjoy and will subscribe and be part of my YouTube channel family. So today Nikki and I are going to be sharing with you guys things not to forget to clean in your house. Sometimes we get so busy thinking about cleaning the obvious things and the things we know we have to do every single day that there are things that maybe we don't think about to clean that really should be clean. So that's what we're going to be sharing with you guys. So make sure when you get done watching my video that you head on over to Nikki's channel and watch her video to see what she wants to remind you to clean in your house. So the first thing is our vacuum cleaners. We spend so much time using our vacuum cleaners to clean that we don't often remember that, hey, our vacuum cleaner needs to be cleaned. Because if you're cleaning with something that's dirty, it's kind of a little counterproductive. So check your owner's manual for your vacuum, whatever type vacuum you have. Find out how many filters it has and where they are, and make sure that you're washing out your filters quite often. It really will help to have your vacuum work more efficiently and you're spreading around less dust and debris when your filters are not clogged. Use some scissors and get the hair out of the roller, at the, the beater brush at the end, especially if you have long hair. And we have a house of three girls, so there's lots of hair and a dog with long hair. So there's lots of hair in our vacuum cleaner. So it definitely needs to be cleaned out quite often and make sure you get all those hairs clean and so that your brush is able to beat the way that it's supposed to. So vacuum cleaners, make sure you're cleaning those. Also your mop heads. Are you cleaning your mop head or disinfecting your mop head as often as you should be. And especially if you've been using your mop head to clean a bathroom, you wanna make sure that you are disinfecting that mop head every single time. I really don't even like to use the same mop in a bathroom that I do a kitchen. I like to have one for each of those spaces so that I'm not cross-contaminating. But make sure that you are washing your mop head and if you don't have a mop that has a removable washable mop head, I highly recommend getting one or at least making sure that the mop you do have that you are disinfecting it after every single use. Another cleaning item that we don't often clean is the washing machine. How can you wash your clothes if your washing machine is gross? So make sure that you are cleaning around the rim of your washing machine and getting off any old dried on laundry detergent or dust or lint. Also make sure you're disinfecting the tub of your washing machine. There are bacteria and germs and things in our clothes and a lot of times we don't think about washing it because you think, well, it got clean enough. But every so often you really should take some time to run a cycle of hot water and bleach through your washing machine to make sure that you're getting all of those germs out and killing any bacteria or mold or anything else. Also make sure after every single load that you leave your washer lid up or you open so that you're getting airflow in there and it really helps to keep it from, it really helps to keep bacteria and things from growing inside your washing machine. Another thing that you may be forgetting to clean often is your makeup brushes. We use those on our face every single day and you're wiping them on your eyes and you're rubbing them on your face and around your mouth and they can very easily harbor and spread bacteria and you do not want to mess with that especially when it comes to your face. So make sure that at least once a month you're doing a deep clean of your makeup brushes. You can get brush cleaner, you can use baby shampoo, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just make sure that you're getting those brushes clean so, you, so that you do not risk spreading an infection. And my last suggestion of something you should not forget to clean is your keyboard and your mouse and your remotes and your house phones and your doorknobs. Those are all really high traffic areas that we touch usually every single day and your steering wheel. Those are things, those are things that we touch every single day and multiple times back and forth and very easily be a germ hot spot, especially if you have someone that's sick in your family. But even if you don't, as a general rule, you should really be wiping down your house phones, your light switch plates, your doorknobs, your computer uh, keyboard and your mouse and things like that that you're using on a daily basis. And if you work outside the home, the same thing with your computer at work or your phones at work, make sure that you're wiping those down with a disinfecting wipe to really kill those germs and reduce your risk of spreading colds and infections and things like that. Hopefully I gave you some good suggestions for things that maybe you have forgotten to clean around your house. Let me know in the comments below some suggestions that you have of things that we might be easily overlooking that we need to clean. 
in our homes and make sure that you check out Nikki's channel to see her suggestions for things that you should not forget to clean in your home. I'm really anxious to watch her video. I love her videos. She's got such a calm and graceful personality. You guys will love her. So make sure you check out her channel. I will have it linked in the description box below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.